centrifugal pump transports fluid at a much higher discharge pressure by using two or more impellers. The main components of a multi-stage centrifugal pump consist of the following. The casing, shaft, impellers, bearing housing, driver, volute chambers, suction port, and discharge port. The pump casing is the body of the pump and contains the shaft and impellers. The casing provides shaft-bearing housings at each end and a volute chamber for each impeller. The shaft extends the full length of the casing with a driver, typically an electric motor, connected to the inboard end. The suction port directs fluid to the first impeller. One impeller for each stage is attached to the shaft. Each impeller fits into a volute chamber in the casing. A stage is composed of a rotating impeller and a stationary volute in the casing chamber. Fluid exits the pump from the discharge port. Fluid enters the first chamber at suction line pressure and leaves the first impeller's outer edge at an elevated pressure. Upon leaving the first stage, the fluid enters the second stage where the pressure is increased further. Each succeeding stage increases the pressure of the fluid. Finally, the fluid exits the last stage and leaves the discharge port of the casing at a pressure much higher than the pump's suction pressure. Several other configurations are available. These pumps are used to transfer fluid from a low pressure system to a high pressure system, such as a boiler feedwater pump. Um